Oh, they're literally fighting for space. <laughs> it wasn't until I got the DJI Neo that I realized how impressed I am with the Hover Air X1. This is so cool. I didn't realize how cool this was until very recently. Okay, let's turn you off. Do you remember at the end of yesterday's video, I debated whether or not I should buy the DJI Neo, the self-flying drone, because I already have one that works really well. Well, it came in, and so today we're gonna do some comparisons of that versus the one I already have. And I think the one I already have is better. And these gallon jugs, I need to keep one for the car, are the start of a, a big change in the TikTok. So we could spend all day understanding why I make certain decisions on TikTok. And I do like to explain why I make those decisions. And I will get into that today. But to start with, a gallon of water a day for five days. No, stay on. Stay on. All right, first sip. Oh, it's glorious. So I always try and go to the gym first thing in the morning. And I wouldn't normally film this bit, would I, Oliver? but I need it for the TikTok video. So I've never dry scooped before. I've never gone in dry. Okay, I think I'm gonna line the mouth first. It's like snakes on a plane when he lines it with oil. It's, it's just like that, Oliver. Uh, it was just like I imagined someone shooting a load into my mouth. <coughs> Goodness me. Right, so what time is it? We're an hour late today because Walmart didn't open until 6 and I normally get up at 5. So it's 6.25. Give you a little show of that, you lucky sausage. We've made a dent. So I'm going to go to the gym before the kids wake up. Let me interrupt this by saying something that I think is amazing. <sighs> amazing. I got sent this self-flying drone a while back to make a video on for TikTok. And I, I kind of liked it and I was like, oh, it's not that good. But then yesterday I was installing a bat cone on the house to get rid of the bats in our attic. And it was the perfect thing, absolutely perfect. This is the shot I got. And just being able to do this at the touch of a button and then releasing it from your palm and not having to think about anything was like nothing I've ever had before with a drone because every other drone has a controller. That, the hands-free changes the game for drones. Come on. This is so cool. I didn't realize how cool this was until very recently. Okay, let's turn you off. DJI Neo. Let's unbox it and get it charging before lunch. Light, didn't it? All right, let's put it on charge. Get the kit out of the way. There's gonna be an explosion right there. Okay, that's a pretty good example of how I would actually use this drone. I like to use it for establishing shots for when I get somewhere and it is so cool to be able to do it hands-free. I've only just, I've had this for about a year now <clears throat> and I've only just thought to use it that way. In the next however many minutes, you're gonna, we're gonna compare the price, portability, ease of use, the features, battery life, video quality, and which one I would choose for my reasons. This is gonna be a selfish review because that's how, I'm obviously gonna do it on the way I use it. <laughs> I also wanna get one very special shot. I need to hang, that gallon of water jug from the crossbar and then I need to shoot the ball at it to have it explode. That's why I, that's why I cut the hole in it and then super glued it up. All right, while we're sat here, I'll just tell you the price. I have my favorite, and you're probably gonna figure it out now, 
The Hover Air X1 is $400 and the batteries are $40. The DJI Neo is $200 and the batteries I think are $47, $50. So this is considerably cheaper. But, but when it comes to portability, just I have been in love recently with a fanny pack. A bum bag, a fanny pack. And you cannot, the fact that, like, you know how people are with drones these days. Any sight of propellers and people get freaked out, but having a drone in a bum bag, are you kidding me? Versus this, we might actually fit, but it'd be the only thing in there. I mean, it just about fits, but I can't really get much else in there. Here's your size difference. So that ends up being about half the size when you fold it. I brought a pen. Where's my pen, Oliver? For me, the DJI Neo wins the price. No brainer. Portability, Hover Air X1, ease of use. <sighs> These things might be some of the easiest tools I've ever used. You just turn it on, press the button, and it does the shot for you. You can tweak the settings in the app. DJI obviously win app usability, but that is a tie. It has to be a tie. Now features, oh, this is where it gets interesting because I did an update on this this morning, which actually turned the Hover RX-1 from being the lesser drone to the one with more features. I don't need the bum bag anymore, do I? Ready for this one? It just tracks from the side. It's so good. All right, come here. That's like when you tell a dog to come and sit and they come over to you, but they don't sit. They just come and stand next to you. Look, here's the thing. I know what I'm doing right now is super simple, but to me, these drones are that simple. Like features, uh, Hover Air X1 wins it. Just put the boys to bed and I, I'm sorry I'm inserting this piece. I feel like you should see what the apps look like since I made a comment on them and you have to go into the apps to change any settings. So this is Hover Air X1. Hover is where you see, Hover's album is where you see all of the footage that you've taken. Got to connect to Wi-Fi, obviously. Okay, a few shots in there and to download it, you just select and then download at the bottom here or you can do some editing. I've never done any editing in here. I'm not gonna try and go through that. So Hover settings. So you have six preset flight modes across the top here which is the same as the DJI Neo. Five of them are preset that you can still adapt slightly. And then the last one you can set to a custom mode since there are more than six flight modes. So let's say for the zoom out one, you can have it do photo or video. You can do the distance, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 feet. You can have it rise up or you can have it flat or lower. Nice old bend down. Uh, choose to have it vertical mode or not. I just took a shot a little bit earlier that was on vertical mode. And then video quality, you have 1080p, 30fps with HDR. HDR is high dynamic range, which allows you to capture shadows and the highlights in a single shot. 1080 60fps means that you'll be able to slow down your footage by, let's say, 50%. And then 2.7K at 30 frames per second. That's going to be your highest quality footage. And then you have your custom mode, which is this final icon down here. And here... You can choose to have it as a snapshot mode, dolly track, which is where it follows you at the side, smart control, where you can use it like a controller, use your phone like a controller, or side track. Excuse me, dolly track is more in front of you and moving wherever you go. Yeah, it's not the nicest looking interface, but it does the job. Okay, let's turn that off. And now the DJI Neo. So connect, here we are, okay. And you have your, you have a live feed a QE on both drones. Uh, I actually think the Hover RX-1 has a wider 
angled lens. So here you have your different modes, direction track, which is I think is the newer one to this, where it can kind of sense where which direction you're traveling and try and stay in front of you the whole time. That's what, I forget the name of it, but the one I pointed out on here. So all the same features here, you do have manual control and it will show up just as a controller pad. It does have voice control, but I didn't really get anywhere with that. Like you have here, control, voice control settings, like, hey, fly. Follow. So it does work. Hey fly is like Siri. And then you give it the command of whichever you want it, want it to do. Or you can long press this button to get it started. And then again, you can change your settings and it just looks a bit nicer to change the settings. So like the follow mode, close, medium, far, follow height, low, flat, high, camera mode, video, and then custom you can set to helix, which is where it spins as it goes up. Boomerang, moving back and forth or direction track so that when you get to the custom button down here that's what whatever you set it to and then camera settings you can shoot 1080p or 4k oh interesting slightly nicer looking app but back to it battery life that's boring to test right now video quality so the dji neo goes up to 4k 120 frames per second but the hover rx1 only goes up to 2.7k so you're gonna have to go DJI Neo for video quality. I want to, I want to, I, part of me is saying, just do a shot of each. Let's do a, let's do a comparison in follow mode and just see how good it is at following. Let's see if we can have both going at the same time. Watch them crash into each other. Come on then boys. Oh no. Ah! Battle of the drones! Alright, DJI has lost me. I'm gonna try and regain focus. Right, it's found me again. All right, can we score? And he's taking out burst of pace. Oh, the DJI has been left behind. Found me now. He's turning. I think we have our answer. Oh, they're literally fighting for space. <laughs> This is like, uh, what's it called? Robot Wars. The DJI just knocked this one out the air. I've got to watch the footage back, but the Hover Air just seemed to do so much better there, didn't it? That was surprising, because this just has tracking, and this is classified as AI tracking. Interesting. I tell you, if, I was, if I didn't have either of these drones, I would go DJI Neo, just because of the price point and because it's DJI. But I tell you what, it wasn't until I got the DJI Neo that I realized how impressed I am with the Hover Air X1. Let's do a test of when I score. I go and do a celebration and let's see which one keeps up. 
Okay, we're gonna hit this goal. And then we're gonna go celebrate. You get out of my way, please, bruv. Over here. Come on. Lovely jubbly. Top left. Oh, oh, he's gone and scored. Robbie Fowler. How did you lose me on the line? I'm really not impressed with this Neo. Let's compare my Celebrate. Oh, I forgot to mention, the Hover Air X1 has vertical shooting. But the Neo is more responsive in terms of starting and stopping flight. I need the ball. Okay. You're a bit close. Come back here. Hey, Chuck. You can change the settings on how close they follow and whatnot, but... Oh! Oh! Robbie Fowler. Stuck on me. Oh, man. The DJI Neo is going straight back. It just it's, can't compare. Unless you want the video quality. But, like, why would you be shooting cinematic stuff on this drone? These are toy drones, as far as I'm concerned. And so quality isn't the thing that you should necessarily be going for because with your movements, these chop and change the angle because it's always going to be trying to keep you in the center, which just is anti-cinematic. Those sudden, they're not jerky movements, they're fluid, but they're still not cinematic movements. Reasons to get this. You want to follow yourself going somewhere. You want to go hands-free and do something, or you want some establishing shots while you're going hands-free, like the first three shots I did coming in here. My answer is, is solid in steel. If the Hover Air X1 didn't exist, I'd say the DJI Neo is a great drone for $200 and gives you a whole new side to shooting video. But with the Hover Air in existence, my choice is hands down the Hover Air X1 over the DJI Neo. I probably didn't even need to say that, I probably made it clear enough. Let's go put this gallon jug on the crossbar and try and explode it. Yes. Oliver, why would you be doing that? Good question. Let me grab my bits. This gets kind of deep, okay, so bear with me. I got to a place where I could make, take a really good idea, like I said, say a viral idea, and make the video viral. I'm talking like anywhere between two and 10 million views. I haven't really gotten too many over 10 million views, which I know sounds absolutely nuts. But then I started to figure out that actually I hadn't cultivated any kind of community. I just been making these viral videos as kind of like one-offs. And so I decided I wanted to share more of who I was in these videos. And you dramatically saw a decrease in the viewership and no increase in that like kind of community feel. So my wife and I were having a chat over the weekend. She's like, why don't you just do those videos? Like they earn you more money, they brought in more views. And I don't think brands are really taking you seriously until you hit that 1 million followers mark, which I know is so stupid. But my goal is to be myself here, like non-performative here. And then on TikTok, where you're constantly hitting a new audience, where it's so difficult to create a community. Why am I trying to do that? How would you get out of here? Oops. So that then got me down the train of thought of, okay, I need to, I used to pay a lot of attention to getting unique shots for the hook and like shooting specific things just for the hook that were not part of the video. Whereas more recently, I've been taking interesting shots from the video and making them those uh, initial shots. And they just haven't been doing the same job because the hook is the most important part. If you don't have people watching after the first three seconds, the rest of the, the video doesn't matter. And you can see that in the analytics. Is that enough? Let's just go with that. Hopefully this cuts through it. Good. So for this series, I, I think I mentioned it this morning. Oh, I can't reach the flipping crossbar, can I? You donut, Oliver. Am I gonna have to bring the bench over? I stand on a ball. Still not enough, Latte. Come on. Oh no. I need the bench. 
damn it. You know, does it really need to be hanging from the goal? Let's see what this camera angle looks like. I forget where I finish off just then, but this series is a viral series. It has the ability to go viral. So I thought, why wouldn't I pay more attention to the intro? Like for the other days, I have, what is the other day? Like shooting it with a katana or making thick water, what? Shooting it with a katana or making thick water. What is thick water, Oliver? It's literally that, like just thick water. So I'll have it pouring out of the jug and it looks disgusting. I'm just not quite sure how to shoot this. Oh, yes. I sit it on the bench so there's something at the back of it to keep it steady. And then I kick the ball and then I can do another shot like cutting to the other side of the bottle where it explodes. That way, I don't need to try and kick it 300 times because I'm going to miss all the time. Let's go and get the bench. The quads are burning. Maybe I could hang it off of here. Let's just get all this out of the way and try it this way. I've truly forgotten what I was talking about. I really hope this explodes like I want it to. I think that's the position. Who knows how long this is going to take. Do I want the camera here or from here to show it exploding? No, I think I want there. And then I go back there to line up the shot. That's what I think. That's what I thinky thinky thinkies. Yeah, because then I can take the shot from here and I'm still in the shot and I, I stand a chance of hitting it. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Then we got a front angle. Let's just hope I don't hit my phone. Please hit the bottle. Keep it down, Oliver. Oh, that was close. So let's say I have that shot. Now what if I like just volley it at it from here? No, oh gosh. <laughs> Smashed it. Yes, that's the shot. Just done a quick footage check. I think we have what we need. I'll have to edit it and see what it looks like. Hmm, what do I think? Okay, the shots didn't turn out like I wanted them to. This is what we have. It's all just too much happening. So I've got an extra shot in here. Like obviously they'll be clipped differently, but it's just, it's too fast, isn't it, to figure out what's going on. Like maybe if I have a shot of me putting the ball down and then that gets hit, but I then had this shot. Might be a better one. All right, final test is getting the footage off of these drones. So I know DJI recently introduced like quick share, album, batch select, all of them. Those were test shots, download. These are 4K files, remember, so they're pretty big. Oh, I filmed the shot coming in the house of getting this drone to try and track me. Really bad in low light at being able to track, whereas what this could do in the same light conditions, this did much better. And this one lost track of me in the house, whereas this one stayed on track. Oh, this is a lot better. You need to relax. It's just a drone. I know, that's the problem, it's a drone. You're being a donkey doodah. Processing something, I don't know what. Not sure what happened midway through that. It stopped and then I had to go out the app, come back in. Just a bug, I'm sure. So I can turn you off and let's pull everything off of here. So here you go to Hover, Hover's album, connect to Wi-Fi, which you have to do for the DJ Neo as well. And then you select all, download. This has been pretty quick in my experience. So that was basically a minute of footage downloaded in, what, like 20 seconds, if that? For the gallon of water story, I put this like crisis point in the story that I finished playing football at 4 p.m. but I didn't drink anything during that time, which meant I had to drink the rest between, I had to drink half a gallon between 4 and 7 p.m. because if I don't drink after 7 p.m., I'll be up peeing all night. That's just the way things work for me, for my bladder. And so I got two shots where I kind of move things around, but one shot at the beginning where you could see the bottle in the background the height of the water in the bottle, and then another shot at the end, slightly different, you know, rotated things around a bit. And you could see again, the bottle at the, with the water at this level, with the water at the same level. God, I can't even speak. Oh, and these shots are all done now, way faster. Oh gosh. I love DJI stuff, but this, in comparison, has missed the mark. So I've got a few more shots to film as I start trying to chug this drink across the rest of the evening, and then I'll edit it tomorrow morning. Dab on the haters. I want this to be a review that's not trying to get you to buy it or want to buy it. Just like the reality of using it.